Hey, I'm Elizabeth, uh, hope stock keeper here at the Baton Rouge Zoo, and I would like to introduce to you our elk herd. Um, these are native to North America. We have Leo, Millie, and Sapphire. Sapphire is the mother of Leo and Millie. Um, she is 21 years old. Her mate, Rudy, who is inside, is also 21 years old. We do not have free contact with Rudy. He's a bull elk. He is very aggressive. They actually are all, all elk are aggressive. Um, just because we come in here with them, you see us out here with them, we're, we practice guarded contact. Typically, we do not turn our backs to them. Um, they will sneak up on you in a heartbeat. <laughs> we make sure at all times that we're out here when we maintenance their exhibit, that we keep the wheelbarrow in between us. Um, to separate us from the elk, we do not get between Sapphire and her offspring. Um, we really pay attention to their body language. Uh, they will show you that they're agitated. We respect that. We don't get in their personal space. We kind of let them set the pace of how we're going to maintenance their exhibit. Um, we bring them their food in the morning. We bring it to the far end to get them down there while we're cleaning their exhibit and making our way out the gate. Now, there are times where they'll get finished eating and they'll make their way down here. And we just kind of, we shift them away from the gate using our body language in the wheelbarrow to get them to scoot over. Um, they are herbivores. They only eat plants, fruits, vegetables, leaves. Um, they are also ruminants. They do chew their cud. They pack the food down and then they bring it up to chew on later. Um, one of their favorite treats is sweet potatoes, raw sweet potatoes. Every day we give them alfalfa and a pelleted feed that meets their diet needs, but we also cut branches for them. They will eat the leaves off of the trees in their exhibit, uh, but they can only reach up so high. So once they have all those cleared off, we will go and cut branches for them to put in their exhibits for them to browse on as they wish. Uh, we give them produce several times a week. Elk typically live up to about 13 years in the wild. Um, in captivity, they live between 18 and 20 years. So we do have two that are 21 years old. Uh, we have one that is 19 years old, uh, but they have all the medical care that they need here. They have no predators here. Um, their diets are met. All their needs are met here. So they do tend to exceed their expected life span. Male elk grow antlers. They start growing in the spring. Right now, Rudy, um, who also was in Planet of the Apes in 2014, you might want to check that out. They came here and filmed Rudy, and he's part of an elk herd in the movie. But Rudy is growing his antlers right now. Um, I know we're closed, you can't see him, but he's going to look a lot different from the last time you've seen him when y'all are able to come back. Um, his antlers are growing. They will grow all the way up until the winter time. They're, they start off covered in velvet. About 40% of the nutrition that they take in goes into growing those antlers. So all the food that they eat, it's very important that they get plenty to eat during the time of the antler growth um, because a lot of that nutrition is going just to the antlers to grow. Um, in the wild, they use their antlers to fight. They will rub the velvet off in fighting matches. This time of year, if you notice, <laughs> they are looking kind of rough right now. It's springtime, just like with any other mammal. They get that winter coat going to keep them warm during the winter. Springtime, it all comes off and they start looking like they really need a good brushing. They are more adapt to colder weather. Um, they have adapted. They, they still grow their winter coats because it does still get cold, but that coat does shed off in the springtime like it is now. If anybody has any questions about 
the condition of them. If you see a keeper on the grounds, please feel free to ask us about them. We love talking about our animals. We have no problem answering questions about them. Rudy is one of our favorites. He's been here almost his whole life. Um, everybody knows Rudy. We all love him. And once you get back here, say a big hello to him. He'll be glad to greet you with his rack of antlers that are growing. Um, and these guys, maybe, they'll probably be about halfway done with their shedding. So they're still gonna look kind of like rough, scruffy. Uh, they're over there playing right now. One of them was pulling hair off the other one. But uh, can't wait to see you guys again.